Do not worry, gentlemen. Edward Hastings' journey is far from over. So currently we are a cavalry lieutenant in Queen Victoria's army, and we have begun our invasion of the Russian Empire by taking some Markand. Well, it looks like Austria is making some political moves. So what are we doing this time, Your Majesty? Ah, of course, still at that, eh? We're just going the scenic route. Tad bit late to that one, Russia. £1,500. I earn more than that by just being in the British Army every two weeks. Jog on. First bit of action of the day. Ready the horses? The horses are more than ready, I'm not sure about the Russians. By Jove, it's the Russian commander himself. Alright, at least it's not raining. And just like that, Bob's your uncle. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I should get a little notice on the bottom left of my screen saying the enemy general's been killed. Tally-ho! Absolutely beautiful, that was. <laughs> yeah, who needs flag bearers when you can just rely on oxygen? Short and sweet, that battle was. And we even managed to capture the general. Lovely. Do you know what? This is acceptable to me. I thank you very much, Russians. Good heavens, chaps, it's over. Oman has declared war on us. We, we've got to go home. Right, the Suez Crisis has happened a bit early because now we're at war with Egypt. And it looks like we've also declared war on Tunisia. I don't know when we're going to get round to them because we're currently in Russia, but we'll see where the wind takes us. I have your poxy, General. We're about to get another one. Party has nothing to eat. Are you under the weather, game? What party? And also, we are now allied to the French. That fills me with happiness. However, I shall have to leave my happiness to one side, as we lead a gallant charge against yet another Russian army. Come on, Thompson, where are we off to, lad? Lead the charge, we'll be right behind you. Oh, it, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, charging would be a stupid idea. You, you're right, you're right. You know, a little army joke, yeah. Dear, I look a bit stupid now. Gentlemen, I admire your anticipation, but can we please just hold the horses back a bit? Sound the bugle, gentlemen! We'll run them down in seconds! Ah, there are the mighty Russian cavalry. And they're gone! <laughs> right. To be fair to them, who wouldn't run away from that? Especially if you see Edward Hastings, of all people, leading the charge. Watch as we make the Russian cavalry disappear! Did you just stab me? Do you know what? I forgive you. Hostilities ended. And it's definitely not because you just shot me in the face. Never mind the blood streaming down my head, gentlemen. Some Russian bastard tried stabbing my horse, but I showed him. I love cavalry charging the artillery. They're so much more defenseless than the line infantry. Are you cretins? Never turn your back on an Englishman. It's funny that I'm seeing your backs right now, actually. Because I saw your cavalry's backs earlier, it was great. Bloody officers, always fighting with their pistols. Not a shred of honour on that sword. I'm even getting double kills now. Why am I still in Queen Victoria's army? I should have had my own army yonks ago. Retreating, are we chaps? Ah, oh, what a shame. As per usual, victory is ours. It's too easy, it's just too easy. We've just saved a Prussian general and captured a Russian general. That is a good trade if you ask me. We are now at war with Morocco. God save us. I don't know what is going on my screen right now. It's just politics and lots of it. And... Russians wanting to buy their chaps back. Oh no, one of my Russian generals has just escaped from captivity. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to get another one. That tastes like promotion to me. I'm not questioning your leadership, your majesty. However, a lot of men, both British and Russian, have died travelling to Norwich. Ah, seems winnable. Good lord, finally! A siege! It's a siege, everyone! We have action! I have waited yonks for another siege, so for Pete's sake, let's not botch this. What on God's green earth am I wearing? Bloody hell, I'm a captain now! I am not some common in the rebel lancer anymore. I am a captain. Captain Edward Hastings. Feel like I've been here before. I don't even have a lance anymore. All I have now is a sword and a revolver, but I'll make it work. I'd imagine this is what the British troops thought would happen in the Battle of the Somme when they decided to walk across no man's land. Now, yes, there are more Polish flags. However, the Union Jack is larger than them. This does fill me with- Oh. Ah, he's all right, he's just a bit hot. Fear not, chaps. Those shells are not landing nearly as close to you as you feel. That's just what the Russians want you to think. Have some, you cowards! I did tell you all, I would adapt to the new hardware, and adapt I have. Come and have some, you bastards! 
With this sword now, I, like any other gentleman, have reached my true potential as a warrior. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Edward Hastings in a close quarters combat, be it with swords, with lances, with fists, with anything, is a shortcut to the grave. And soon, every man in Europe will know this. We are just cutting them down like overgrown grass at this point. Victory is within mere moments away. <laughs> well... That's this trench clear, let's move to the next. A fine day, is it not, gentlemen? Well, not so much for you, but the game's the game. Death and dishonor is theirs today. And that now means we have captured Merv. We are advancing nicely here. It's a tad bit early, but World War I has just started. We are now at war with Prussia in support of Belgium and France. Now that's great that we're at war with Prussia right now. However, there's not much we can do about that at the moment because we're still in Russia. Oh, and speaking of which, Duty calls. This is rather strange. Normally, I am the one leading the charge. I'm not used to this. Come on, you mongrels. Let Edward Hastings show you how a British captain fights his battles. With a sword, normally. Stop running, you coward, and fight me like a gentleman. Oh, for Pete's sakes, just how at you. All right, gentlemen, it looks like you're with me. You're going to follow me. We're going to run down some Russians. And remember, keep those lances sharp and those tongues sharper. I'm not quite sure what the Russian infantry is doing out here. Either they're just unintelligent, or they're just lions led by donkeys, I don't bloody know. Good practice for the sword arm, this is. Especially after using a lance for so long. A rather cracking job, I'd say. At this rate, we'll be in Moscow by about... probably 2163. And that is another one. Gentlemen, something good has happened today. Holy mother of God riding a bicycle up Ben Nevis on a cool and calm day. Major Edward Hastings is proud to announce the formation of the Edwardian Hussars Division. For now, I'm going to accompany Her Majesty's party, and then we'll just see where the wind takes us. We're making another advancement, this time on Bukhara. In this battle, the Edwardian Hussars will forever cement their name in history, under the valiant leadership of Edward Hastings. They're not chaps, just a bit of rain. You know, the Russians seem rather fortified up there while our chaps are being flattened by artillery, quite literally. I reckon we're going to need to push up. Right now. Charge if you be men! Do not let the bullets or shells stop you chaps! The infantry have halted. What cowards. Let's show them what real Englishmen look like. Do not think about running towards the massive Russian human wall that's firing at you. Just do it. Edward Hastings is a true officer, always leading the charge at the very front. Like every British officer in history. Sorry, sorry, Victoria. Who has just reached the first trench? Who? Say it. Time to cut the grass, chaps. For this battle, Edward Hastings is going to earn a title. Something along the lines of the Reaper of Bukhara, or something like that. Good grief, I just saw my life flash before my eyes there. Thank you very much for the save, my good man. Cletus the Black right there, and he's dead, right. Well, that's unfortunate, but at least it's not raining, still. Ow, that was unfortunate. Ah, uh, you bastard! Right, I'll do you for that. And uh, can you just stop bloody stabbing me with bayonets? I will be the first to admit, that charge did not exactly go quite as well as I'd imagined. However, this battle is not over yet. I'm going back in. It's just me and one other chap. The rest of the Edwardian Hussars are either dead or wounded. Let's not write that in the books. I've got him, chaps, don't worry. Warning shot. After the Edwardian Hussars' gallant charge earlier, this front trench looks a lot less populated this time around. <laughs> Edward Hastings is as honourable as they get, as this chap is about to find out. Clearing these trenches feels as effortless as invading Iceland. This time I mean it. Warning chip. Come on, gentlemen! British officers, don't duck! It is time for the final advance, the charge! Warning chip. If you make your entrance right, it can come into play later. How about you, mate? I don't lose. Ah, it's just a scratch. All thanks to myself, Bakara is now British. What appears to have happened here is the vast majority of my army has died. Therefore, I'm going to have to separate myself from Queen Victoria and her warband, and act on my own accord in this hostile land, and recruit some chaps. I get we're in the middle of Uzbekistan, but are there any gentlemen here who are from England, Scotland, Wales, or Ireland, and are willing to join the British Army? Eleven of you. That is eleven and a half more than I expected. I suppose I'm just going to go around our territories recruiting British people. 
No clue how they are here, but hey ho. Right, it's been a few days, and I have a rather sizable army now. The Edwardian Hussars Division grows. Ah, I found Her Majesty. Suppose I'll just, um, rejoin the warband. Ah, interesting. My men are deserting. Can't imagine why. Yeah, this, uh, this could prove to be an issue. Just look at this massive warband. The Edwardian Hussars are in this army. I am leading other soldiers in this, which is most unfortunate for them. And also the Russians have just surrendered, so we get to keep our captured territory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this marks the end of the Anglo-Russian War. A rather interesting war, if I do say so myself, and a very significant war for Edward Hastings' career. Well, Your Majesty, I have fought many battles, killed many adversaries, and led many of my men into glory. I do believe I am ready to become a vassal. Oh! I see! No, do you know what? It's fine. Maybe I am not quite yet ready to become a vassal. Maybe that is a tad bit rushed. I suppose I will just continue leading the Edwardian Hussars until I am renowned enough to become a vassal. Well, back home we go, it looks like. Tea and medals, chaps. Oh, of course we are. Whoa, 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 since when did all this happen? Right, the Eighth Coalition War has begun, and this time we're on France's side. Well, Best hop to it then. The coalition isn't going to kill itself. Alright, would anyone else like to declare war on us? Because I don't think we're at war with enough nations right now, frankly. Oh, d oh dear. That is a rather large battle, and we appear to be outnumbered as well. However, Edward Hastings and the Edwardian Hussars are not chaps who back down from a scrap. Come on, you Austrian bastards. This is the largest battle of Edward Hastings' military career so far, so let us hope that it is also the largest success. Going blade to blade with the Austrians. This isn't going to be the last time, I'm sure. I'll give it to these Austrians. They are rather durable, rather resilient. Their horses, on the other hand, not so much. Ah, that was unfortunate. Okay, really, for Pete's sake. Alright, chaps, as far as I'm aware, the Austrian cavalry's been dealt with. It should be alright to move up now. Alright then, Hussars. I haven't a clue what to do, so we're just going to charge them and see what the devil are you aiming at. Have they flanked us? Have they seriously flanked us? Right, so it turns out the Austrian cavalry has not yet been dealt with. We will deal with that issue now. Alright, mate, this has gone on long enough. Goodbye. Well, that is that minor issue dealt with. Do you know what? Might as well. What have I got to lose except for bullets? And these are just warning shots, by the way. Ah, oh, yes. Charging an entire unit of line infantry on horseback while absolutely, completely, severely outnumbered. I am being genuinely serious when I say I can see nothing going wrong here. Yep, there you are. They're routing. Cavalry really is just incredible when it comes to Mountain Blade. Swiftly moving on to the next rank now. There is absolutely nothing that can stop Edward Hastings and his rampage. Ah. Um. Except maybe that. <laughs>